Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Now we shall begin. Hello, is this the Dynamo Motorcycle Company? Yes, it is. How can I help you? Well, I have an instruction manual here for your new electric motorcycle, but I'm not satisfied with the purchase at all. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but don't worry. I'm sure we can sort this out. Before we do anything, can you tell me the model number? Ah, at the top of the instruction manual here, it gives the model number. R T Y three four. T Y three four. Okay. Now, what's the nature of your complaint? It's many things, actually. The biggest problem is that you say in your manual that the battery will take the motorcycle thirty kilometers. That's right. Well, it's lucky to take me eight. The battery is usually flat by then, often leaving me stuck at the side of the road. Are you sure you're charging it correctly? I'm fairly sure. I follow all the instructions and plug it in for a long time. And are you sure you charge it for the required three hours? I charge it until the charging light goes off, and that's two hours. So that should be enough. And there's a serious design fault with this motorcycle. When you're riding it, there's no meter to show you how much power is left. So you actually don't know when the machine is going to stop working. There's a voltage gauge. Yes, but that tells you nothing. The needle fluctuates about from fifty-five to forty-five, so whatever it says is meaningless. According to the manual, you're meant to charge the battery if the needle falls under fifty volts. But even when you charge it, it can go below forty-five. As I said, the needle just waves all over the place. The result is that I'm always worried that the bike will leave me stranded in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'm sorry about that. Sure, but what are you going to do about it? Unfortunately, we don't have a refund policy. But if you take the bike to one of our shops, our mechanics will look at it. Perhaps there's a problem that we can fix. The gauge, for example. The other problem is the battery. I actually weighed it, and it's almost six kilograms. Yet you say in your manual that it weighs only three. I can barely pick the thing up, so it's not three kilograms at all. Maybe you purchased the wrong model by mistake. I doubt that very much. Basically, I think I've been defrauded, and I'd like to know what you're going to do about it. All right, I'll put you through to our complaints department. Hello. Complaints department here.、Uh, apparently, you have a complaint. Yes, I do. Let me tell you all about. It's it's all right. Our representative has already informed me about your problem. It's probably just a misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work something out. Right now, I need to take down some details. All right. Can I have your name, please? Jesse Parkinson. That's J E double S, -S I E and Parkinson. P A R K I N S O N Parkinson. All right. What shall we list this complaint under? Parts, service, or performance? Well, the meter isn't accurate at all, so that's parts, isn't it? Yes, perhaps. But you do feel more generally that the motorcycle doesn't meet the operational standards as advertised, so it's probably better to tick performance here. Can we tick both, parts and performance? No, we can only tick one, so let's not call it parts. We'll go with performance. Now we may post some further forms and questionnaires to you. So would you mind giving me your address? Certainly, it's forty-five Melrose Road. Melrose, M E L and Rose. Okay. Now your phone number. Just use my mobile phone. That's o nine two eight nine eight two. Four five three. Four five three. Okay. And if we have any follow-up questions, what time is best for ringing you? Morning, afternoon, night time? Well, I work as a secretary from nine to five, but I do get a lunch break, which gives me some free time. 
This break used to be twelve thirty to one thirty, but then it changed to an hour later. So it's best to ring me at two p.m. since the break now starts at one thirty. All right. Ah,、uh, that's all for now. We just need to do our own investigation, and we'll probably ring you back tomorrow. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Thank you. Now we're done with the first part. Moving on to the second section. Listen and complete the notes about two people who work at Esco Engineering. Oh, hi, Maggie. It's Greg. Hi, Greg. I'm phoning to check some information about some of the staff. I'm putting all the staff data into new files, and I notice that I don't have files for two people. I think you might have them. Oh, really? What are their names? Peter Austin and Jane Moore. Let me have a look. Yes, I've got them here. Shall I send them to you? No, you don't need to. Just give me the information now. I can write it on some new files. I don't really need the photos if you've got photos there. Okay. Well, Peter Austin first. Now, is that Austin with an I or Austin with an E? It's A U S T I N, and his address is 110 Argyle Street, Tunbridge Wells, Kent, T N three five R Q. 110. Uh huh. And his phone number? It's O seven nine eight four six four five seven nine two. Okay, and how old is he? He's forty-seven. Forty-seven, and what about his marital status? He's married. There's a note here that he has three children: two boys and a girl. Okay, and finally, when did he join the company? He started with Esco in August two thousand and three. Thanks, Maggie. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Practice is key to improving your skills in all four sections of the English exam. By practicing regularly, you become familiar with the format and types of questions, improve your time management skills, and gain confidence in your abilities. Do you understand clearly? By practicing regularly, you will familiarize yourself with the format and types of questions, and also improve your time management. To score the correct answer, you will have to listen very carefully to the appropriate part of the audio in order to understand what is being talked about. The overall assessment will be based on the audio about to be played. You are advised to absorb as much information as you can. Don't skip or ignore the audio. 